Hey guys, take a look at this very much interesting problem. In a hypothetical experiment, it established that the potential energy between an electron and a proton at a separation r is given by u equals k times the logarithm of the distance r, where k is a real constant and all units are in the international system. It can be stated that Bohr radius for an orbit n and the energy at level n are respectively how much? So, it was given the expression for the potential energy between between the electron and the proton, and this given expression is absolutely different from the electric potential energy, so we can realize this is not an electric force. In order to find the expression of this force, we must calculate the derivative of this potential energy related to the distance r. Let's do it now! At this point, you must remember that the derivative of the natural log of x in respect to s it's 1 over x. We're gonna use this information. So let's move on. The derivative will be minus k over the distance r. At this point, you must be worried about this minus sino, but let me explain. This minus sino only tells us this is an attractive system, but this is not important to us at this moment. Now, let's remember the second Newton's law. This force will play the role of the centripetal force. And from here, we can find two important results. So here is the expression of the orbital velocity of this electron. From here, we can also obtain the expression of the kinetic energy of this electron. Let us write 2 below in the both sides. And here it is. I know it's a bit strange, but the kinetic energy of this electron, it depends of the distance r. It's not my fault. Let's move on. Now, as we are considering Bohr's model, we have to consider the quantization of the angular momentum of this electron. MVR equals NH over 2 pi. So at this point, we can find Bohr's radius. Remember, we have already found the expression of the orbital velocity of this electron. So we must replace this expression here. Let's do it now. So here it is, the expression of Bohr's radius. Let's move on now to calculate the total energy of the system. We must add up the kinetic and the potential energy of the system. The potential energy was given K natural log of R plus the kinetic energy we have already found over here. Let's replace. And when you take a look at the options of this problem, we realize we gotta have some trick here to find one of these expressions. So at this point, I will write a 2 below and a 2 above times the natural log of R plus K over 2. So what is the trick? At this point, you must remember this property of the logarithms. So I'm gonna move up this number 2 and it will become the exponent of this R. So now I'm gonna factorize this expression. We have the common factor K over 2 and then between the brackets we have... But remember, we have already found this R, so we must replace it here squared. Let's do it now. So, we finally found the expression of the total energy of the system. And if you take a look carefully in the options, you're gonna realize that the correct answer is letter B. And if you enjoyed this explanation, click like, and please remember to subscribe my channel so you can look other good videos like this. See you later!